Hi everyone, it's Hannah Ross. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you how I pack for a whole week in just a personal item on the airplane. So I like to pack category by category. That's tip number one. It just makes things so much easier. And the first category that we're gonna chat about today is also the bulkiest, at least for me, and that is clothes. So the first thing I do when it comes to clothing is lay out the outfit that I am going to be wearing on the plane. This is it right here for me. And I ensure that I put on like my bulkiest, longest items for two reasons. Of course, number one, a tried and true trick, you need to save space in that bag. So put on your bulky items. But number two, it is always freezing cold on airplanes. So I like to wear pants and I also like to have an extra layer on the top as well. And even beyond that, I will also set aside the shoes I'm going to be wearing on the plane bulkiest ones for sure, always do that, and my undergarments. So beyond that, I'm bringing three like full outfits, one being a skirt and long sleeve shirt combo, and two being dresses. I'm also bringing a cropped light colored sweater. I am bringing two shirts, one short sleeve, one long sleeve, and I'm also bringing <laughs> my husband's pair of pants. And then of course, in my little airport outfit, I have one additional t-shirt, which is of a lighter color, different than the black ones. And then I have a light pair of pants that are a little more breathable because they're linen. And I have that jean outer garment. And speaking of outer layers, so I do have that jean one, that's great. But the second one that I am going to be bringing is this packable rain jacket. I take this with me wherever I go, no matter what the climate, because you never know when it's going to rain. So I always pop it in my travel bag. And then still in the clothing section, let's talk about undergarments now. So I just have this little bag from NYX that I always use for packing, just really convenient. So I have enough underwear and socks and just one bra that I'm going to be taking with me. It's also worthy to note that I chose a nude bra because nude can go under dark and light and black can't. So that is just the one bra that I will be taking. Oh, and I almost forgot. One of the most important things to pack, at least for me, is a bathing suit. I have packed it in with my undergarments. You never know when you need a bathing suit. Sometimes there's pools and hotels. Sometimes you might be going in a hot tub. Sometimes you might be going to the beach. So always bring a bathing suit just in case. Next huge bulky thing to consider, kind of similar to the clothing category, is shoes. So as I said, wearing the Nike trainers on the plane and packing the far less bulky Birkenstock Eva sandals in my bag. And another tip, you kind of have to fast forward when you're actually going to be traveling. A lot of the time I'm going to be wearing the Birkenstock Eva sandals. What if I'm carrying my backpack and these shoes don't fit because they're filled with the rest of my stuff? I always just untie the shoelaces and tie them to the back of my backpack. It's like the best solution that I have come up with that ensures that you're not taking up any of the valuable space within your personal item. The next bulkiest category is beauty. So we are chatting all things hair care, skin care, body care, and makeup. And as I gear up for the beauty section, I do have to head quickly to my purse because there are some items in this little emergency kit, my travel to go kit that I'm going to be adding to my bag. So I am going to be bringing one clear bag full of my makeup and then one dark bag that's a little bit larger for all the rest. I also always bring a Ziploc and this is dual purpose as well. Number one is obviously to take my liquids out. Plus I like to take a Ziploc anyways, just in case anything leaks. That doesn't happen to me very often whatsoever, but just in case I do like to have a Ziploc on hand. So just because it's the most fun, let me show you what I'm bringing makeup wise. I have all my complexion products. So I have two concealers and one translucent loose setting powder. As for the cheeks, I also have two products. One is more of a blush and one is more of a bronzer. For brows, I have both a brow pencil and a brow gel. And for my eyes, I have both an eyeliner and a mascara. And then finally for lips, I've selected one lip liner and one lip gloss. As far as tools go, I keep it super simple. I have one brush for my concealers. I have one brush for my loose setting powder. And then I have an eyelash curler and that is it. That is all I'm going to be bringing. 
everything. So that's the small clear bag done. And now we are going to move on to this bigger, bulkier black one. For skin and body care, I have Dr. Bronner's as my cleanser. I have the Neutrogena Hydra Boost as my moisturizer. I have just Vaseline as my lip moisturizer or for any dry patches. And I also just have an unscented deodorant. And yes, I do use the majority of these products for both my face and my body. It saves a lot of space. And as for makeup removal, I'm going to be packing the makeup eraser. It's just damp right now, so I have to let it dry before I pack it. But I don't actually like the makeup eraser for travel. Back home in Canada, what I used to do is get these individually packaged makeup remover wipes. I haven't been able to find those here in Mexico, so I will make do with the makeup eraser for this trip. The next category is hair, so I'm going to be taking one hairbrush, one hair elastic, and two little clips. The only hair styling tool that I will be taking if I have space after I'm done packing is my Dyson hair straightener. 99% of hotels and even Airbnbs these days have hair dryers, so I do not feel the need to take a hair dryer. So I will be taking this Dyson styler just to get a loose wave. And as for nail care, I am going to actually be taking nail clippers and a nail file. So I have traveled in the past without these two items and very much regretted it. So I am going to be taking both the nail clipper and a nail file, plus they don't take up a lot of space so no big deal. Next up is oral care, and I simply have my travel toothbrush, toothpaste, and some floss. Next up is eye care, and I really don't recommend Visine, but I do take it along with me when I travel, just because I can get really, really red eyes, especially when I travel to new places. And the last thing I'm going to pop on this bag is some medication. I'm not big on medication, I don't like to take any, and neither does my husband, but these are just some emergency backup medications just in case. And that, my friends, is everything that I take in my beauty bag. It's actually like a beauty, hygiene, medical, hybrid kind of bag, but we'll just call it the beauty bag. And some other tips, here are some things that I am not bringing in this beauty bag to save space that I typically would otherwise. First up is this Vaseline tube that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Instead, I'm just going to be taking this mini little tub that I have usually tucked away in that emergency kit in my purse. So I save a little bit of space there. Second up, I am not going to be taking a razor. If I need to, I will buy like a dollar razor. Sometimes in hotels too, you can just call down to the front desk and they will give you a razor for free. So I'm not gonna be taking that, and I'm also not going to be taking shampoo nor conditioner. We are going to be staying in hotels, and as much as I don't love hotel shampoo and conditioner, beggars can't be choosers when you're taking just one personal item. So I usually pack my shampoo and conditioner of choice, but for this trip, I am going to forego it and just use whatever the hotel or Airbnb has to supply. The next thing I do in preparation is I will actually take out all of the liquids in my makeup bag and all of the liquids in my beauty bag and just go ahead and pop them in the Ziploc bag so everything is ready to go for the airport. So next category is a super simple one. It is accessories and I only have two to talk about. The first is what's in this purse. No, I'm not bringing my entire purse. I don't know if that's something I want to do in a foreign country to have like a crossbody bag. Doesn't really make sense to me. Second of all, I do not have room, like I simply don't. So I am just going to be taking out my wallet. So I'm going to ensure to take out any cards I'm not gonna need, any cash I'm not gonna need. But most importantly, take out that bulky change in a currency that we are not going to be using. That's a must and a good tip for travel. And then the last thing I'm going to do is actually remember <laughs> to put my passport in my wallet because we will be traveling internationally. So my wallet is my first accessory. And the second and final accessory is just a pair of sunglasses because we are going to be going to a sunny destination. So things that I don't pack, extra jewelry, I never end up wearing my extra jewelry when I travel. Plus, it's just not something I want to do. I don't want to be having a bunch of jewelry on while I'm, you know, in a new place that I'm not 
too familiar with. So I just wear my everyday jewelry and that's it. I keep it simple. So that is my entire accessory section. And the final category that I have to chat about is electronics. So on this trip, I am going to be taking my cell phone, I'm going to be taking my AirPods, and unfortunately, I am also going to be taking my laptop, which means cord-wise, I'm going to need both my cell phone cord and my laptop cord. So I usually make a conscious effort not to take my laptop, plus it saves space, Plus I don't have an expensive item that I could lose or in the worst case scenario could be stolen. But this trip, I'm gonna have to do some work because I'm away for a week. So I'm going to have to edit some videos. And my husband also has a lot of work to do as well. So we are gonna hit up some coffee shops and do some work during this week. So it was definitely a necessity for me to bring my laptop, but just know that usually I do not for the electronics department. I am totally fine with just getting away with my cell phone. So those are all the things I'm going to be packing in my personal item. And I just wanna chat before I actually put them in this bag, how I pack my bag. On the bottom, I put things that I don't reach for that often and aren't breakable, so I put my clothes. And then on top of that, I will put some more breakable items, more delicate items that I reach for often. So that would include my big black beauty bag, my makeup bag, and my sunglasses. This front pouch here is going to hold my wallet. It's also gonna hold, of course, my passport and my boarding passes. This middle pouch might hold some snacks if I feel like packing those later. The top pouch is where I hold my small electronics. So that means my cell phone and my AirPods. The back right here, this zipper, is where I hold my laptop. In this little pouch back here, I put both of my chargers. And this is where I put my laundry. This Lululemon bag has an additional little bag that it comes with that I always put my laundry in when I travel so it doesn't compromise any of the other clothing, if you know what I mean. And then another small note, once I'm done with my passport and my wallet at the airport, I will put them inside the compartment just so it's a little bit safer when I don't need access to them quite as much. So let's finally do the deed and see if all of this stuff fits into just this personal item. Let's get packing. All right, my friends, well, we had to make a few concessions and take a few things out, but overall, I got the vast majority of stuff within this personal item, and I am ready to go on a week's vacation to Guatemala. This has been a fun one to film because of course it gets me all inspired for my trip that's coming up tomorrow, but I also love packing. Unpacking, hate it. Packing, love it. It is like my favorite, and I think this time, I did not overpack. I think I got the right amount of stuff. So if you like joining along on this packing journey, feel free to give this video a like. And if you like me, if you like the content that I'm producing in general here on this channel, then definitely consider subscribing. It would truly mean the world to me. All right, everyone, well, just thank you so much for being here. And I really hope to catch you in my next minimalism video. Bye for now, everyone. Bye.